so first what you want to do is you want to go to getpaint.net uh, this will be in the description below and then once you're on getpaint.net go to get it now and then go to my internet's a bit slow go to download now and then go to free download now I already have paint on it installed so I don't need to install paint on it again and then um, also in the description below there's gonna be a bunch of plugins for paint on it that I suggest you download uh, and then there's also gonna be a video on how to install paint on it plugins so I suggest that you watch that and once you've installed paint on it and all the plugins uh, open up paint on it and then go to file new and then make the width a thousand and make the height a thousand that so it should make a square click OK and then uh, we're just gonna start off with the wallpaper so I'll go to file open and then uh, in the description below there's gonna be a link to this uh, back the background I'm gonna be using so I'm just gonna open it up and then uh, press control C go back to the profile picture and then press control V and then select keep canvas size like that and then after that I'm just gonna move it so that you can see this part of the wallpaper like that gonna do this and then once you're done positioning it just deselect it and then after that duplicate the background and then move it and then go to layers flip horizontally and then layers flip vertically like that and then uh, go to your eraser tool make the hardness 0% and then make the brush width like around 100 maybe bigger let's go with like 200 like that and then just erase like that so that you can see the other lightning. And then uh, this pretty much blends the two pictures together like that. Looks pretty cool. And then once you're done, just merge the two layers together. So go to the top layer and then click merge layer down like that. So it's one layer. And then after that, go to adjustments. And then uh, go to... Go to uh, hue slash saturation, or you could press control shift U like that. And then what you want to do is you want to lower the saturation. I'm just going to lower it down to like maybe 40, 45, like that. Click OK. And then after that, add a new layer. And then uh, I'm just going to do the text. So go to the text tool and then look for a font you want to use. So I'm just going to be using the font mask. Uh, this font will be in the description below if you want to use it. So it's right here. And then uh, just click anywhere and then just type the letter you want. I'm just going to do T. And then make the text bigger like that. I'm going to make it white so that you can actually see it. Let's make it 500. Okay, this works. And then go to um, the magic wand tool right here. And then uh, go to your secondary color and then make this gray like that. And then we're going to... Hold shift and then left click on the text, go to the gradient tool, go to the top, left click and then just drag down like this. And then it should create this gradient. Uh, deselect it once you're done. And then we're just going to uh, position it in the middle. So go to effects, object line and then center both like that. So it should be in the middle. I'm just going to move it a bit. Since it's not really in the middle, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do something like this deselect it and then after that go to effects object and then drop shadow and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the sh shadow color black I'm gonna bring up the blur radius a bit like that also the widening radius click OK and I think it looked pretty good so far I'm gonna move it a bit like that and then the last thing we need to do is we need to add a texture so I go to file open and then we're just gonna open this overlay uh, this will be in the description below. There's also going to be a bunch of other textures that you can use. So they'll all be in the description below for you to download. I'm just going to use the black and white one. So click OK. And then press Ctrl C. Like that. Go back. Add a new layer. Press Ctrl V. Uh, select keep canvas size. Like that. Uh, it's a bit small right now. So I'm just going to hold shift. Left click and then drag the corners to make it bigger. Like that. And then I'm just going to position it like that deselect it and then after that go to the layers and then uh, properties right here and then change the blending mode to like overlay or maybe color dodge uh, you're gonna have to play around with it uh, I'm probably just gonna go with color dodge I think it looks the best and then click OK like that 
and then uh, you should be done. So uh, if you want to save it, just go to File, Save As, and then save it anywhere on your desktop, and then save it as a JPEG or PNG, like that, and then name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it like uh, Profile Picture, yay, like that. Click OK, uh, click Save, I mean, and then click OK, and then click Flatten, and you should be done. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like, uh, comment if you want more, uh, and then I don't have anything else to say, so uh, peace out. <laughs>